Hi everyone, I'm Richard Ron with the Leonardo Group and the Lean Design Studio, and I wanted to explore with you uh, some thoughts I've been having about the use of simulation modeling and Kaizen, because I think there's a big opportunity there to supplement what we're doing in the realm of process improvement by using simulation modeling. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, there are a couple terms that are used in Lean Speak. Uh, Kaizen is one of them, and the other one is Kaikaku. So kaikaku kind of means big project, right? Or big effort, big change. Uh, whereas kaizen is more small change. Uh, so what we're talking about here is kaizen principally or kaizen events. That's where you'd organize a small team. You have an opportunity for improvement and you carve out some time, usually three, four or five days to quickly make a change, right? Make a process improvement. That's what we're discussing here. So not so much individual suggestions, not so much big projects that take multiple weeks or months. We're talking about this Kaizen event concept and the use of simulation modeling. So first of all, I believe that simulation modeling is not an individual kind of effort. It's very much a team building kind of effort. So when we're talking about forming a Kaizen team, the use of modeling is not contradictory, doesn't contradict that idea. Actually, in my experience, Working together as a team to build a model is a fantastic team building exercise, as well as a way of, of brainstorming and clarifying ideas from the team. So there's no contradiction there in terms of using simulation modeling. Now, why isn't this more common? Well, I think the biggest challenge for using simulation modeling in a Kaizen event kind of format is just the time it takes to build a model. This is a problem, or you know, it usually takes longer. So we, we don't think of that short period that we have three or four or five days as being sufficient, right? To really build a model within that time frame. Now, this is probably generally true that most commercial simulation software is not that easy to learn, but even if you're good at it, even if you're skilled at model building, uh, it's not necessarily fast to put together a simulation model. Uh, one, of the, one of the big challenges is the data that's required. But even if you have that, just the physical, or the, I don't know if you call it physical, just the effort to build a model uh, takes time. Now we've made some improvements to that challenge from the point of view that we've designed a simulation modeling engine that's really designed for value streams. It's not gonna be that useful to design a ski area simulation or atomic bomb explosion or a weather system those kinds of simulation opportunities. But when we talk about something linear, like a value stream where you have a start, you have a beginning and you have an end and you have a series of typically sequential steps that you go through, that's what this model that we've developed, that's what this software we've developed uh, will help you do. So our feeling is, my feeling is that the time required to build a model uh, can be very fast. And so it can fit within this time frame that we need. Because that's the expect expectation. We're gonna check this. We're gonna test this here shortly. Now, what kind of uses within a Kaizen event? Well, a big one is just the preparation phase. In my experience, the most successful Kaizen events are the ones that did significant planning ahead of time uh, in preparation for the Kaizen event. Typically maybe three weeks or four weeks of lead time before the one week of Kaizen event. So if you're using modeling during that preparation phase, this is a great way to identify, to uncover opportunities, to make sure you have the data collected. So you're making the right choices in terms of the projects you're working on during the event itself. And also to make sure that when the event time happens, that you're able as a team to hit the ground running. So great opportunities in that arena. The other one is during that simulation event time itself, if you can build a model fast enough, then that's a great way of validating the brainstorming that typically happens during a Kaizen event. The way to test various scenarios and ideas so you have a better idea of what's gonna be successful, what's gonna be less successful, and you focus your team's effort on the right things during that time. Now, here's a way of testing out this thesis that I have, that simulation modeling is useful and it can be done in a short period of time. We're gonna be hosting a challenge on May 9th. So a couple of weeks away from when I'm recording this video. So May 9th, 
And the idea here is that you're going to commit yourself, that's the challenge part of it, to build a model in five days. Uh, not all day, obviously, but one hour a day. In one hour a day, uh, and we'll walk you through the training, what you need to know, and we'll help you with the coaching to make sure you are able to stay on track, you know, address any challenges you may make run into. And big one here, we're going to provide the software. So this challenge is going to include a membership in our Lean Design Studio, so you can actually use the Lean Design Simulator that we've created uh, to, to run this challenge. So uh, that's what we want to present to you as a, as a fantastic opportunity. If you've been curious about simulation modeling, or uh, if you're already experienced, but you just want a chance to do a project quickly and see how this other software works, it's all included in the package. There is a cost, it's $49, uh, but I think most of you can float that. And I think that would be uh, a really good investment. So uh, look at the link down below in this video. There's a, there's a URL, there's a website page that you can go to to find out more about it, a lot of detail, and also sign up for this. So we hope to see you there. Okay, bye-bye.